Huh, really? Did you know it's not actually called a fillet steak? And the arc between two lines is not actually a fillet? This dictionary claims that these two words are heteronyms. Well, that settles it. I know we all clicked on this lesson group looking for fillets, chamfers, and splines, but we're going to instead have to settle for fillets instead. Fillets and chamfers are features which join together two lines or faces. These features are often utilized by engineers to break sharp edges on a part or to create machinable geometry. Think about what happens when a cylindrical cutting tool tries to interpolate a sharp corner. You're left with a cusp or a fillet. Using these tools on your wireframe or solids can help you create part models which will translate well on the CNC machine when being cut. My favorite use of these tools is to create relief between mating parts, either by using a clearance fillet to help accept a sharp corner or chamfering away a sharp edge to better fit a machined corner. Splines are different from fillets and chamfers and are used to help create non-uniform curves which pass through a set of predetermined points. One would freehand splines if you wanted to create more organic looking shapes. Sometimes these splines can cause trouble if your CNC machine is fairly old and struggles reading a deluge of line segments created by the spline code. Mastercam has the ability to break up these splines into arcs or line segments, which can help reduce the size of your code dramatically. Give this lesson a watch. It's only five videos long, and by the time you're through all of these, your fillet steak should be cooked and ready to eat.